Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says he has ordered the military to begin operations in the southern Gaza city of Rafah. Israel says it is necessary to secure the freedom of hostages still being held by Hamas. But the U.S. opposes a large military operation there, saying too many innocent civilians will die as a result. Skylar Henry shares what's happening. The Israeli army released this video showing its tanks rolling into the border crossing connecting the southern Gaza city of Rafah and Egypt. This does look like the prelude of a major military operation. We have not yet seen that operation commence. Rafah is Hamas's last stronghold and some families of Israeli hostages say they're worried a full-scale military operation will endanger their loved ones. We watch in horror as the military operation in Rafah unfolds. Israel has warned civilians in parts of Rafah to flee. But the U.S. says Israel has not done enough to protect the more than one million Palestinians taking refuge in the city. CBS News has confirmed the U.S. has postponed the delivery of some ammunition to Israel, with one official saying that the holdup is designed to send a message about the Biden administration's opposition to the Rafah operation. It's not just this limited operation, but the ordering of the evacuation of 100,000 people. And we have made clear that we don't think um, the kind of military operation that would follow such an evacuation uh, is one that uh, we can support. House Speaker Mike Johnson accused Biden of politicizing the aid which he says is needed. Trying to defend their nation against the threats that are facing them. And now I think it's very important that we deliver that critical assistance without any delay at all. Director William Burns is in Egypt, working with Israel and Hamas as they continue to negotiate a potential ceasefire in Gaza. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.